Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in and learning about uh, the immune system and how you can maintain and build a stronger immune system. My name is Sonia Gilson. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I live in uh, rural Montana, and I also have a interest in health and wellness uh, supplements and how I can help support people in their journey to better health or maintaining good health in the first place. So currently it is the end of March. We have the COVID-19 pandemic happening, and I've had a lot of questions about how people can boost their immune systems and um, things like that. So I wanted to make a quick video, answer some questions, and uh, see if you find this helpful. So some basic things that you can do to strengthen your immune system. The first thing is eat more fruits and vegetables, and that means eating less processed foods and refined sugars. So if you're eating more fruits and vegetables, that means there's less room in your stomach for refined foods and um, processed sugars. When I'm thinking about improving my nutrition, I always want think about wanting to add things in rather than take things away. So many different colors in fruits and vegetables, get as many as you can eat today. Shoot for eight to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. I know that sounds like a lot, but that really is what a person needs um, to really boost their immune system, improve their digestion, and feel your best. That's also going to help to support a healthy weight. Um, the more processed foods and refined sugars you have, the more inflammation you're going to have in your body. And I'll talk a little bit about that more later also. Uh, but the more inflammation you have, the more your body is trying to work to reduce that inflammation. And your body is then not able to uh, recognize illness when it's happening and when you're being um, attacked by viruses and that sort of thing. So you're going to be more prone to be getting sick rather than fighting off the viruses before you actually get sick. Balancing your blood sugars uh, through some different supplementation um, or maybe cutting back on your refined sugars is really going to help to improve your gut health, to improve your moods, and also to help so that you're craving different things. Um, again, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Exercise is another big thing that helps to increase your endorphins, which helps to boost your mood, which means that you're better able to deal with stresses and also boost your immune system. Um, supplements help to sustain your energy and make it so that you have um, more energy and desire to get out and exercise, improve your recovery so you're not so sore afterwards and just decrease inflammation in general. Uh, sleeping is a huge thing for uh, supporting your immune system. Shoot for seven to eight hours of sleep every single night and that allows your body to heal and repair. If you're getting less than six hours of sleep at night, you're probably not getting enough and your body is not gonna be able to heal and repair and you're gonna be more prone to get sick and pick up the infections that are around you. Um, fun fact, melatonin, which is the sleepy hormone, is stored and produced in your gastrointestinal system. So the healthier your GI system or your gut is, the better you're probably gonna sleep because you're gonna have more melatonin available for you. A lot of people like to take melatonin supplements. I used to take those as well. Um, they weren't super helpful for me long term, um, but improving my gut health has allowed me to sleep sounder. And um, even if I get less sleep, I still feel more rested. Uh, blood sugar balance again comes into play as far as balancing your cortisol and making sure that you get more restful sleep rather than being restless and tossing and turning and waking up a lot. Another thing to help you boost your immune system is managing your stress and decreasing your stress. And I wish that I could snap my fingers and tell you that um, the whole pandemic is gone and you can go out and do whatever you want again, but I just can't do that. We know that this virus is here and um, it's just starting to really, really get bad in most parts of the country. And we really need to be staying home, washing our hands, staying away from other people, um, reducing the spread um, like you hear about on the news and social media. So as far as stress relief, what can you do? You can do things to help to reduce your stress. Um, a big thing is to manage what you're taking in. So as far as the news, as far as social media, as far as people, maybe even friends and family, you might need to limit contacts with them even um, if you're not seeing them in person on the phone or um, via text message or that sort of thing. If they're not people who make you feel better and make you feel calm, um, maybe you need to take uh, some time to not have so much interaction with them or uh, set some healthy boundaries. Watch less of the news. Um, I know I'm guilty of 
uh, looking to see how many cases do we have now, how many cases do we have now. Uh, I have no control over that other than in my own home and teaching uh, my patients at the clinic and all of you, um, but really I, I can't control that. So I can do the best I can, I can educate, uh, but me looking at it all the time is not helping. It's not helping me, it's not helping anybody. So I'm really working on limiting that. Um, also exercising, taking a walk, uh, doing yoga, doing some um, meditation, that sort of thing. Um, read things that are uplifting and positive for you. Uh, a few apps you could use for uh, meditation or things like Headspace or Insight Timer. Those are two that are really good. Um, and those are things that will help you to manage your stress and managing your stress is going to help your immune system. And then finally, drinking water. Um, that helps to hydrate your cells so that your um, the cells that are in charge of fighting off infections are like healthy and ready in there to go when you need them. Also helps to remove toxins from your body. So when you do have the byproducts of your body fighting off infection, um, those byproducts can be eliminated from your body rather than just kind of hanging out and causing more inflammation. And then also you have more energy typically. So generally what we tell people as far as how much water is enough and everybody's going to be different. Um, Typically, we recommend about half your body weight in ounces. So if you're a person who weighs 100 pounds, you want to drink at least 50 ounces of water. If you weigh 200 pounds, you're going to want to drink at least 100 ounces of water. Um, some people drink their entire body weight in ounces of water, and that makes them feel the best. I wouldn't recommend starting that off on day one if you're only used to drinking eight ounces of water, but, um, but work up to that and see how you feel. Do what makes you feel the best, and that's also going to help with your digestion and uh, just your general health. Uh, some of the specific supplements that I wanna talk about are gonna help support your immune system. So I work with a company called uh, Amplexus and they have supplements that help to reduce inflammation, improve gut health, and balance blood sugars. And all of those things are tied to basically any um, chronic illness that you can think of. So we have four supplements that we have in a package right now that really are beneficial for the immune system. The first one is X Factor Plus. This is a multivitamin. They call it a supercharged multivitamin because of the awesome ingredients that are in it. It has 50 trace uh, minerals and polyphenols, which help to improve the good healthy bacteria in your gastrointestinal system, full of vitamins, zinc. Zinc helps to increase the number of immune cells ready to fight when you do have an infection. Has selenium, it has aloe, which increases the um, absorption of vitamins in your body, um, and it's also soothing to the gastrointestinal tract. So if you have um, problems, um, aloe is really good. Uh, New Zealand black currant is a food source of iron, and all of the vitamins are bioavailable and bioactive. So that means that they're very easy to metabolize and that anybody can metabolize them. They're not synthetic, they're not made in a lab, they come from plants. And that is a big difference between our vitamin and other vitamins you could get. Um, like from Amazon or um, your grocery store. Another supplement is called Ease, and this is um, something that really helps to decrease inflammation in the body. It has ingredients like New Zealand green lipped mussel, bromelain, and turmeric, which all help to decrease inflammation. Serapeptase helps to break down the molecules that cause inflammation, and just basically helps you have less stress in your body internally and helps to heal things. Uh, probio 5 is my very favorite probiotic. This has five different probiotics, and it also has digestive enzymes that help to break down the biofilm of harmful bacteria and fungus. So basically, it can help increase the absorption of nutrients, which will then help you fight off infection, as well as improving your gut health, which will help you sleep better, give you better energy, and um, improve your mental health. Serotonin, which is your happy hormone, also stored and produced in your gastrointestinal system. If you have had a sudden scare, um, maybe a car accident or a near car accident, or all of a sudden there's a police car with lights on behind you and you feel that drop in your gut and you're not really sure why that's happening, that is a direct link between your brain and your gut. Um, that's exactly how that works. Um, we can talk more about that if you have questions, but there, um, it's really important to have good gut health to have good mental health. So, um, and then as far as the, the absorption of the nutrients, if you have better gastrointestinal health and you don't have a lot of um, toxins and just films that are gunking up your gastrointestinal system, you're going to be able to absorb the nutrition better from your food since you're eating more healthy foods and lots of fruits and vegetables. Finally, Vital Biome, my second favorite probiotic. 
formulation. It has eight different probiotics. Um, it also helps to support your mood and is clinically proven to increase happiness. So you're going to be better able to deal with the stress of everything that's going on in the world right now, maybe keeping your kids at home and um, educating them for the first time, uh, maybe working from home and balancing all of that. Very stressful, right? Uh, Vital Biome and Better Gut Health is going to help you to deal with that. And then, of course, for balancing blood sugars, we have our uh, drink Slim which is amazing, helps uh, to keep your blood sugars balanced throughout the day so you're not having spikes and dips and um, really helps with an even mood and energy level, also helps with sleep. So I would love to get any feedback that you have. Uh, make a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, send me a message if you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you did find value in this, please send it on to somebody that you um, love so that they can get the information as well. Um, if you are not already taking any of these supplements, please let me know and I would love to help you to get started and see what a program would be um, best for you.